Snow tomorrow. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you are returning, you already know it. <laughs> you are fabulous. All right, so today's video, this is episode 23 of our 365 day daily devotionals. Now we have been doing the um, Jesus Calling devotional by Sarah Young. It is absolutely fantastic had such a great time doing this. This was something I just wanted to do for myself. I decided to share it with y'all and it has been a big hit. We have got several people that are watching these daily devotionals every day, commenting, leaving prayer requests, testifying, honey, it is a good time. So if you have missed any of the previous episodes, I will have those linked in the description box. And if you're wondering why I'm doing daily devotionals and not my DIYs, I will have those videos listed in the description box as well. That'll get you kind of caught back up. All right, let's jump in. Okay, number 23. Let me hold it up here so that you guys can see the verses. I like to make sure that y'all got the verses. Um, that way you can maybe grab your Bible, read along with us, or even, um, you know, maybe... Jot these down. Just jot down the the verse and the um or the book and the verse, and then go back and look at them later if you'd like to. Okay, but if you don't have the book or you don't have your Bible, don't worry. I'm gonna read everything to you, so it's gonna be just fine. All right, let's get started. Hmm. The very first very first sentence says. It is all right to be human. When your mind wanders while you are praying, don't be surprised or upset. Simply return your attention to me. Share a secret smile with me knowing that I understand. Rejoice in my love for you, which has no limits nor conditions. Whisper my name in loving contentment. Assured that I will never leave you nor forsake you. Interspere these peaceful interludes abundantly throughout your day. This practice will enable you to attain a quiet and gentle spirit, which is pleasing to me. As you live in close contact with me, the light of my presence filters through you to bless others. Your weakness and wonderness are the openings through which the light of my knowledge of the glory of God shines forth. My strength and power show themselves most effective in your weakness. Mmm. So good. They're so good like every day. But I, I swear, it just it it just never never fails. It's, oh, it's just so good. Okay, let me get let me read the verses to you. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Deuteronomy 31, 6. Instead, it should be that of the inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. 1 Peter 3, 4. For God who said, let light shine out of darkness, made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ. But we have the treasure in jars of clay to show that this is all surpassing power is from God and not from us. 2 Corinthians 4, 6, and 7. But he said to me, my strength and power are made perfect, fulfilled, and completed, and show themselves most effective in your weakness. 2 Corinthians 12, 9. Mm. So good. It is all right to be human. That was the very first sentence in this one. It is. It's all right to be human. God knows we're not perfect. The only perfect person there was is God, Jesus. We are not perfect. We're not ever going to be. Um, I grew up the preacher's kid. 
And so growing up, you know, I thought that I had to look perfect, be perfect, act perfect, everything all the time because I had so many people like watching me to see if I was going to, you know, mess up and then, oh, well, her dad, you know, he can't control his family, so he doesn't need to be a preacher or, you know, something silly like that. But those things were always in the back of my mind. So I always felt like I had to really be on my toes and really be perfect all the time. And I did this up until about five years ago when I um, started therapy and learned that striving for perfection is okay. But when you literally um, obsess over it, that's not okay. That's not okay at all. That does nothing but cause anxiety. It causes depression sometimes. It just, it does something to you. So never, ever, ever think that you've got to be perfect in order to be close to God. Because he knows that we are not perfect. And he loves us anyways. Isn't that the best part? <laughs> he literally loves us no matter what. Mm, such good stuff today. All right. Thank you so much for being with me. Oh, 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 wait. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family. And subscribe. That would be awesome. Plus, hit that notification bell so that you will know each time I upload a new video. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being with me today. And y'all have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.